Now, in today's class, we will start with fifth Roman letter, fourth one. Okay, we were doing synthetic division, right? Synthetic division and you have to find the quotient and remainder. Okay, so here you have the next sum. 8x power 4 minus 2x square plus 6x plus 5 divided by 4x plus 1. Okay, so first what you do? First you find the zero of the polynomial. So for finding the zero of the polynomial, what you do? This you put as zero. When you put this as zero, transpose this, you will get the answer minus 1 by 4. Okay, you will get the answer minus 1 by 4. Now what you do for synthetic division, we always write the coefficients alone. Okay, only the coefficients we write and any one power is not given, put that as zero. Okay, here the cube term is not given. Okay, the cube term is not given, put that as zero. So the first coefficient you have is 8 and then you have 0 and then you have here the square term minus 2, the x term you have the 6, then the constant term is 5. Okay, all the constants, uh, constant term is 5, the coefficients of all this you write. Okay, whichever term is not given, that one put as 0, don't forget that or your answer will go wrong. Okay, so here x is 1 minus 1 by 4. So divide by, this is divided by minus 1 by 4. Now first column will be always 0. Okay. And vertically what you have to do? Add. Okay. Vertically the numbers you have to add. So 8 plus 0 you will get 8. Okay. And then diagonally you need to multiply. Vertically you have to add. Diagonally you have to multiply. So minus 1 by 4 into 8 will give you minus 2. Okay. Again you add these two. 0 plus minus 2 will give you minus 2. Again, minus 1 by 4 into minus 2. That will give you 1 by 2 because minus into minus is plus. Okay. So, this both you multiply, you will get 1 by 2. Now, these two things you add. Take the LCM and add minus 2 plus 1 by 2. Okay. Minus 2 plus 1 by 2 you add, you will get this answer. And then, again, minus 3 by 2 into minus 1 by 4. So, multiply these two, you will get 3 by 8. Okay. Now, 3 by 8. Now, these two things, again you add. Okay. 6 8 is 48. 48 plus 3, 51. 51 by 8. Again, 51 by 8 and minus 1 by 4, you multiply. So, you will get this thing and then again add both. That is 5 plus minus 51 by 32. So, you will get 109 by this. 32. Okay, so what's the remainder here? 109 divided by 32 is the remainder. And what's the quotient? Now see, here you have a fraction, right? So what you have to do is, you need to divide each by the denominator alone. Okay, with the denominator alone, you need to divide each term. Don't forget that. That will be the quotient, okay? So here when you divide this by 4, what you will get? This will give you... Uh, this one. Okay. When you divide this by 4, you will get 2. So, 2x cube. Okay. Since you, we started with the x power 4 term. So, this will be the x cube term. This will be the x square term. This will be the x term. And this will be the constant term. Okay. So, this is 8x cube minus 2x square minus 3x plus 51 by 8. This quotient what you have got you need to divide by the denominator that is 4. So when you divide this you will get uh, 2x cube and this and this will be cancelled you will get x square by 2 okay then this and this will be multiplied what you will get nothing will be cancelled okay so minus 3 by 8 4 into 2 is 8 and here you have 1 into 51 51 divided by uh, this one, 4 is a 32. Okay, this will give you 32. 2 1 by 32. And what's the co uh, remainder over here? 109 by 32. The remainder here is 109 by 32 and this is the quotient. Okay, this is how you will do with fractions. Okay, whatever answer you are getting with that, you need to divide the denominator. So, quotient is this and remainder is this. Okay, now we will start with the Sixth one. Okay, sixth one we are going to start. The sixth one you have, if the quotient on, if the quotient obtained on dividing 
एट एक्स पार फोर माइनस टू एक्स क्यूब प्लस सिक्स एक्स माइनस सेवन बाय टू एक्स प्लस वन इज दिस मच देन फाइंड पी एंड क्यू एंड आल्सो द रिमाइंडर सो वी विल स्टार्ट टू फाइंड द जीरो ऑफ द डिवाइसर पुट टू एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल जीरो ओके टू फाइंड जीरो ऑफ द डिवाइसर पुट टू एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल जीरो सो वट विल बी द एक्स वैल्यू x value will be minus one by two. Okay, when you transpose this, you will get minus one by two. So with minus one by two, what you have to do? You need to divide. So as the before sum, the first column will be zero. Then add it. Eight plus zero is eight. And then diagonally you need to multiply. So minus one by two into eight will give you minus four. And then vertically you add. So zero plus minus four will give you minus four. Now again minus one by two into minus four. Okay, that will give you two. Now minus two plus two will give you zero. Now minus one by two into zero will give you zero. Now six plus zero will give you six. Then minus one by two into six will give you minus three. So the last one will be minus seven plus minus three. That will give you minus ten. So remainder is. Minus ten, and what's the quotient here? Now we started with which one? We started with the fourth power. Okay, so this will be cube term, cube term, square term, x term, and the constant term. So this will give you eight x cube minus four x square plus six. Now uh, this is a fraction here, so divide it with the denominator that is two. So four x cube minus two x square plus three. Okay, now you need to compare this with the given quotient. Okay, now what's the quotient they have given? Four x cube plus p x square minus q x plus three. Now what you do? Compare it. Okay, so this is four. This is four. Now the square term you have is minus two. Here the square term is p. Okay, the square term here is minus two. Here the square term coefficient is p. So when you compare both, what you will get? The p value will be minus two, and the q value will be coefficient of x that is zero. Okay, the q value will be zero, and the p value will be what? Minus two. And what's the remainder we got here? The remainder we got here is minus ten. So that also you need to write. So remainder equals minus ten. Okay, this completes your uh, this one, sixth one. Okay. Now seventh one you have in the same way, okay? Seventh one you have in the same way, which I'll give it as homework. The same as your sixth one, you need to do the seventh one, okay? So the seventh one I'm going to give it as homework. Please do the homework regularly and please send it to me. Now we will start with the next exercise, okay? In the next exercise, what you have is you need to factorize it using synthetic division. Okay, now factorize it means what? See, whatever answer you are getting, no, after this quotient, whatever you are getting, that quotient also you need to factorize again. Okay, whatever quotient you are getting, that also you need to factorize with the help of factor three. That is what they have told. So here they have told factorize each of the following polynomials using synthetic division. Okay, so first polynomial they have given is x cube. Minus three x square minus ten x plus twenty four. So first you will write the polynomial a name you will give. Okay, we we don't know what's the zero of the polynomial. Okay, with what number you put that you are getting zero? We don't know that. So first we need to find the zero of the polynomial. So first you will write let p of x equals x cube minus three x square minus ten x plus twenty four. So first you write p of one. Okay, p of one. What you will get? Put x value as one and see whether you are getting zero or not. Okay, so this you are not getting zero. Next we will put x uh, p as two. P of two. What you will get? The x value put as two. So this will be two cube minus three into two square minus ten into two plus twenty four. So this will be eight. This will be two to the four. Four to the twelve minus twelve. Minus twenty plus twenty four. So twenty four plus eight will give you thirty two. 
and minus 12 minus 20 also is 32. So 32 minus 32 will give you 0. So uh, now see, when you are putting 2, it's coming 0. So we say x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. Okay, when you are putting x as 2, you are getting it as 0. So we say x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. Okay. Now, the same synthetic division we need to do. Like the, we did the previous exercise, the same thing we have to do. So first add the coefficients 1, minus 3, 10, 24. Okay. 1, minus 3, minus 10 and 24. And what is the 0 uh, of the boiler mill? 2. So we will divide it by 2. So first what you do? The first column will be 0. Now 1 plus 0 will give you 1. And then diagonally you multiply. So 2 into 1 that you have to write over here 2. Okay. Now again vertically you have to add. So minus 3 plus 2 will give you minus 1. And then 2 into minus 1 will give you minus 2. Again vertically you have to add. So minus 10 plus minus 2 will give you minus 12. Again these two when you multiply write it over here. So this will be 2 into minus 12 is minus 24. So minus 24 and 24 will give you 0. The remainder will always be 0 because the 0 of the polynomial itself is 2. Okay, remainder will be always 0. Okay, again I am repeating vertically you need to add. Diagonally you need to multiply. See first you will write the coefficients 1, minus 3, minus 10, 24. First column will be always 0. Okay, now add 1 plus 0 is 1. Now, diagonally you multiply 2 into 1 is 2. That 2 should be written over here. Okay, and now add. So, minus 3 plus 2 will give you minus 1. Now, 2 and minus 1, what you have to do? Multiply. So, multiply both, you will get minus 2. Now, again add these two, you will get minus 12. So, minus 12 into 2 will give you minus 24. So, 24 minus 24, what you will get? 0. So, we will get the remainder is always 0 in these terms. Okay. So, here you will get the quotient as x square minus x minus 12. Okay. x square minus x minus 12. Now, what you need to do is, again you need to factorize this with the help of factor 3. So, here you will get minus 12 x square when you multiply and when you add what you should get? Minus x. So, what are the factors here? Minus 4x and 3x. So, minus 4x into 3x and when you add, you will get minus x. So, here x is common, x into x plus 4 plus 3 is common, x, min, x minus 4 plus 3 is common, x minus 4. So, again x minus 4 is common and this is x plus 3. So, what are the factors here? The first factor you got it as x minus 2. Second factor x minus 4, next factor x plus 3. Any order you can write this, okay. So therefore the factors are x minus 2, x plus 3, x minus 4. Okay, this is how you will do these type of sums. First you need to do the 0 of the polynomial you need to find. Okay, you need to find what is the 0 of the polynomial. Suppose if 1 is the 0 of the polynomial, you will write x minus 1 is one of the factors. Here we got 2 as the 0 of the polynomial. So we have written x minus 2 is a factor of p of x. So first our factor is x minus 2 and then we will do the synthetic division with 2. So vertically you need to add, diagonally you need to sub, uh, multiply. So you will get the answer x square minus x minus 12. Now do the factor 3 again, you will get 2 factors. So combine all the factors and write first factor was x minus 2. Then x plus 3, x minus 4. Any order you can write this, okay. Now similarly, second one we will start. Second one you have 2x cube minus 3x square minus 3x plus 2. So first what you will do? First you will find the 0 of the polynomial. So p of 1 we will try. It's not coming 0. Okay, now we will try with p of minus 1. Put x as minus 1. And see you are getting it as 0. Okay, p of minus 1 you are getting it as 0. So what we will write? x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. 
Since with minus 1 you are getting 0, you will write x plus 1 is a factor of p of x. So, with minus 1 you will do, since with minus 1 you are getting 0, okay. So, first write the coefficients. The x cube coefficient is 2. The x square coefficient is minus 3. The x coefficient is minus 3 again. And the constant term is 2. So, with minus 1 you are doing, so first column will be 0. Okay, now add this, 2 plus 0 will be 2. Again, minus 2 into 2 will give you minus 2 that you write over here. Now again add these two, minus 3 plus minus 2 is minus 5. Again multiply these two, minus 5 into minus 1 is 5. Again add these two, minus 3 plus 5 will give you 2. Now again multiply these two, 2 into minus 1 will be minus 2. Now 2 plus minus 2 will give you 0. As I told you, the remainder will be always 0. Okay. Now here you will get the polynomial will be 2x square minus 5x plus 2. Okay, 2x square minus 5x plus 2. Now again we will do the factor 3. When you multiply what you should get? 4x square. So this is 4x square and here you will get uh, when you add what you should get? Minus 5x. Okay. So minus 4x into minus 1x that will give you 4x square and when you add both you will get minus 5x. So here you will write 2x square minus 4x minus x plus 2. Okay. This completes your second one.